Here we go, here's your tip for today. When you send out a lease or a renewal to someone and they make handwritten changes and then send it back to you and it's all like marked up with changes and circles and X's and things crossed off, toss it in the trash, start over. Don't ever let another party unilaterally alter or modify your lease form. If they wanna say, hey, can you make this change? Or hey, I think this is wrong. Or hey, what about this? They should call you or email you and bring it to your attention. You guys talk about it, say yes or no, or modify it, but you modify it. Don't let them do it by hand and in writing and make chicken scratch out of your nice lease document. It's only a problem. You want your lease documents to be unmodified, unaltered, and unedited by anybody. If there's a discussion that needs to take place, have the discussion and negotiate whatever it is. We don't really negotiate our lease terms. For commercial leases, it might be different because it's not so standardized and it requires a lot of customization. But renting apartments is very uniform and very standardized. Everybody in the building gets the same lease. Every tenant across the portfolio gets the same lease. That's the document. It's not negotiable, it's not editable, it's not modifiable. So when you send out your lease document and you get it back and there's all this handwriting and editing that occurred, just scrap it and call them up and say, hey, we'd love to have you, but you can't make all those changes, so I'm gonna resend you the lease form. Let me know now what was really a problem for you, but I'm gonna send you the lease form. You gotta sign it as is.